Let's talk about essential trimmer. So a common scenario as a clinician is that a patient can be referred to you for a trimmer and you'll have to differentiate between essential trimmer and Parkinson trimmer, which are two of the most common trimmers. Now essential trimmer is the most common action trimmer and the main other disease in the differential is enhanced physiologic trimmer. So essential tremor occurs in 1% of the population and the cause is largely unknown. Increased age is a risk factor for developing the disease, especially age above 60. And one notable feature in people with essential tremor is that there tends to be a strong family history. So about half of patients will have a family history of tremor. For clinical features, the onset of essential tremor has to be at least over three years. Although many patients will have the tremor for decades before presenting for medical attention. The tremors commonly involve the hands, the head, and the voice, and less commonly the legs. The legs are more commonly involved in Parkinson disease. Essential tremor is better with rest and worsened with action. This is called a kinetic tremor and also worsened with maintaining a posture against gravity, such as holding the hands up, and that's known as a postural tremor. The frequency is typically high, 6 to 13 hertz, and can be worsened by stress and medications. Uh, notably, the essential tremors are not worsened by caffeine, unlike the enhanced physiologic tremor. Like most tremors, Essential tremor is better with alcohol, and there cannot be any dystonia, ataxia, or Parkinsonism, or else you'll have to think of a different diagnosis. For evaluation, for most clinicians, essential tremor is going to be a clinical diagnosis. There are some specialized centers that can analyze videos of tremors to differentiate them, but for uh, most patients, this will be a clinical diagnosis. So if the disease is suspected, then electrolytes and a thyroid function test can be sent to help exclude treatable causes of enhanced physiologic tremor, which can also coexist with essential tremor. For anyone under age 40, testing for Wilson disease can be indicated. And going through the medications list to identify medications that have tremor as a side effect can also help in alleviating these tremors. The DAT scan is not routinely done to differentiate essential tremor from Parkinson tremor, but it can be done and it'll be normal in essential tremor and abnormal in Parkinson disease. The treatment of essential tremor is largely symptomatic and there are no disease modifying agents. So medication is indicated if the tremor is disabling, such as if the patient is having trouble eating or embarrassing. If the tremor is relatively mild, medications may not uh, be indicated. So first line medications, which can be used as monotherapy or in combination are propranolol and primidone. And each of these reduces the severity of the tremor by roughly half. Propranolol can be relatively contraindicated in heart block, asthma, and type 1 diabetes. And primidone may be relatively contraindicated if the patient is taking multiple medications because it is a SIP inducer. Second line options also exist, which can include gabapentin, topiramate, and botulinum toxin. There are also non-pharmacologic options such as adaptive devices. Uh, an example would be a spoon that vibrates to cancel out the tremor of the patient when eating. If all others fail, then there are some surgical options as well, such as deep brain stimulation of the thalamic ventral intermediate nucleus or ultrasound thalamotomy. And these can help for contralateral hand tremor. The main contraindication to surgical treatment is dementia or a major cognitive impairment. So for prognosis, the severity of essential tremor 
generally progresses over the years, and an increased amplitude of the tremor may result in more functional disability. Uh, luckily, mortality is the same as the general population.